inside. Got some square bodies. Ooh, look at that. It's pretty sweet. Hmm, got the Torino. I got that one. Oh, that's cool. Man, these are actually pretty sweet. And even though I don't collect the trucks, gotta respect them. Oh, that nitrous Mustang is super cool. It's got a lot of trucks. I remember those. Oh, look at that. Yeah. place is a really good size. I'm really digging this. This was a good one. There's a lot of like hidden gems. That's kind of cool. Oh, here we go. A good one. I have it in both colors, so I don't need it. Oh, Ferris Bueller's Fiero. Nice. Oh man, these are uh, these are sweet 16 cars. Some red lines. That's pretty cool. Look at that. That's awesome. Oh, that's cool. It's kind of hard to see with the glare, but I mean, you got some good ones. Chevy Stalker number 70. Oh, that's cool. That, uh, oh, Speed Fleet Corvette. It's kind of hard to see, but there we go. There's a whole bunch of NASCAR stuff. 
<laughs> that's cool. Oh, look at the mongoose. Some dinkies. That's kind of cool. 57 Chevy. Oh wow, I had this one when I was a kid. Holy crap. It goes in the dark too. Wow. Wow, I remember that. I had this one and this one because the spikes come out on top of the head. Wow, that is just too cool. Got some more down there. That's pretty cool. Ooh, got Mad TV. Check that out. That's cool. Ooh, here we go. Got some loose ones. Oh, that's nice. Tonka number 34 Mustang. It's Maisto. It's kind of cool. Two bucks. We'll see. <laughs> Chrysler 300. Porsche. I think I have that one. Let me check it out. Lotus. Hmm. Wheels a little bent. I mean, that's kind of cool. Might have to get this. Got a bunch of RLCs. You got the Camaro, 40 bucks. You got the custom fleet side, that's 80. It's pretty cool. Some five tens. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And of course, if you're new, I definitely appreciate you clicking on this video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you can stay tuned for all of our future videos. And of course, if you like what you see, give it a huge thumbs up. So guys, this month is pretty busy. I just got back from a week's long TDY, which is a temporary duty location for the military. And it was a good trip, but at the same time, the hunting was not good at all. I mean, the area was kind of pretty rough and empty. There was a lot of product on the shelf that was stolen, a lot of empty cardboard. It was very disappointing to see the hobby in the area that I was in just completely destroyed. But I did find some goodies from Target while I was there, but that was pretty much it. I did hit up the antique mall, which you saw in the beginning, but it really wasn't much there. They had a lot of NASCAR stuff, but you guys know I'm trying to really hold back on purchasing that stuff, focusing on Mustangs, but then there are some that I can't pass up like exotics, Porsche, Ferrari, Lamborghini, those kind of cars. I won't really pass up unless I'm like, you know what, I don't need it. So I did score some of that. Um, and then of course we do have our car show that is going to be released this month on the 31st of May. I wish I would have been able to get more entries. We do have a lot of entries, but I wish I would have continued to get more, but the platform that I use to do the digital form completely has a max limit unless I purchase it for like 50 bucks a month, which yeah, I'm not about doing that. And then of course, we also have our June newsletter coming out. So stay tuned for that. We have another special spotlight collector that's gonna be featured in this one. Um, this one's gonna be pretty much based off of variations. If you guys didn't read my last one on the, uh, where you at? The Fast and the Furious variation five pack. I did drop a newsletter on that, um, but this one is our monthly one. So stay tuned 
for the car show as well as the June newsletter. So, so far we are the only diecast car show on YouTube and pretty much any platform. So I'm stoked to continue the trend. Um, I don't know when the next one will be, but hopefully I can find a better platform for the form for you guys to fill out so we can continue to grow and grow and showcase everyone's collection. Back to what we found guys, this was from Target and I had to pick it up because I have left these before when I was in Arizona. You got the Majorette Porsche Edition Series, check that out man, beautiful lineup. You got the Porsche Taycan Turbo S in blue followed up by the 911 GT3 RS in green. Such a beautiful color. Then of course the 918 Spider. you got the Porsche 917, I think that's just the K. Beautiful blue and yellow setup. And then finishing up with the 718 Boxster. Such an awesome lineup. Now they did have a few sets on the shelf, but of course with me traveling, I only wanted one anyways. But man, I really wish I would have picked up the ones from Arizona because yeah, now I have all of these beauties to go with the Porsche collection. And then we did score another Majorette Porsche. Here you go, you got the white version of the Taycan Turbo S. Here we go, check that out, man, beautiful. So I did pick up the previous one, which actually had the livery of the, oh man, I can't even remember, but either way, Beautiful Porsche Turbo S right here in white and black. So simple, so clean, but there we go. What I also found from Target was this right here. Check it out, new for 2023, the Honda CB750 Cafe. This thing is awesome. I love the wheels on that. Check it out, man. Those look like brand new toolings for wheels. I've never seen them on anything else until now. But look at that, very meaty. Definitely do dig that. Blue with the orange seat, definitely an awesome one. So it's out of the Hot Wheels Moto Series and this is G Case. So definitely don't pass up on bikes. I do have my bag full of bikes right there because I had to clear up some space on a jammer. And then we found the 94 3000 GT in red. Such a legendary color. Anytime I've thought about the 3000 GT, whether it's VR4 or not, it's always in red. And Matchbox did a beautiful job. Check it out, you got the lens that's attached to the glass. Nice tampo work. And then coming around the back, you have the nice tail light and 3000 GT deco on there. Beautiful, man. Definitely a beauty. All right, and then the next one is a new recolor of the Skate Grom. Check that out, man. So the last one was a vibrant pink. And this one's more of a lime green with the pink wheel setup. But you guys know when it comes to Tony Hawk and skateboarding and Hot Wheels all mixed in one, I'm definitely gonna pick it up. So I do have a few variations of the Skate Grom, Skate Punk, all those different castings. And this is just another cool one. So this one is also out of G Case. All right, and we did pick up some premiums, guys. I had to pick these up. Check it out. Fisher Price's Volkswagen T1 Panel Bus. Did not think I was gonna pick it up, but I do have a small collection of these. Where are they at? Right here. So I have these here and I also have a few carded and I just really wanted this one for the collection as well. Little People is definitely one of those iconic brands as well from Fisher Price, but look at that. I don't know if the stance is low, but maybe it is. It just looks like it's not in the package. Um, but yeah, these things just sit nicely when they are on a flat surface. Look at the detail, man, super cool. Super cool. So they did have the quick delivery. I didn't want to pick that up because that one, I don't know. I didn't, I wasn't a fan of it in person. The Ford Transit Supervan I left as well. Um, you guys know I picked up the Chevy Astro van last time, but here we go. T1 panel bus for the premium. And of course the cool combi from the Barbie series. Check that out, dude. That is so cool looking. The colors just tie in very, very well. Definitely an awesome one. So. This was on my list to grab. I just figured these wouldn't be on the shelf, but I uh, lucked out. These were the only two on pegs. Um, and then I did stop off at a Hobby Lobby while I was there and finally found the Porsche 993 911. Check that out, man. Gosh, the RWB, such a beautiful casting. Now this will be opened. I will have it on display, um, not with my Mustangs or anything, but probably over here where my Porsche RUF is, um, I might have it on this display since these are my exotics. 
But man, this thing is so gorgeous. That lime green and the body kit on this, dude, that is nice. And I'm so glad I found it. I've been wanting it for the longest time. Um, and I haven't been able to work out a trade, but it does feel good to find it out in the wild. And then last one, guys, last one, have to finish it off with this one. I did pick up and found a 1970 Mustang from Maisto. Check this out. This was from that antique mall. The only thing I found that was worth grabbing because look at that. Definitely something I did not have in the collection. You have the Tonka Racing number 3470 Mustang. That grabber blue with the yellow 34, this thing is awesome. Now it is a little nicked up and in rough shape, but it is one that I did not have for the collection. So we did score a Mustang while I was out traveling. Other than the Mustang, yeah, Porsche was pretty much the heavy theme right here. We did grab some premiums and some new castings for the collection and the 3000 GT, man, I'm just a huge fan of those Mitsubishis. Um, but here we go. We can add this to the collection of Mustangs, but that is pretty much all we got guys. There was nothing else in the area. Um, they had a Walmart and a Target. Everything else was like 40 minutes away. Um, they had Dollar Trees, Dollar Generals, but those were completely destroyed. There was nothing even worth buying. I mean, like I said earlier, there was packages ripped open. The, the stores were just trashed, um, but yeah. There we go, guys, that's all we have. I wish there was a little bit more to showcase, but that's what we found. I'm happy with it. And of course, all of these are gonna be opened, except for the premiums. I'll probably keep those in packages. But everything else, yeah, that's all opened. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I know it's short and quick, but at the same time, just happy to finally be back home so I can send out those packages and definitely stay tuned for the car show and newsletter, which will be out towards the end of the month. So until next time, guys, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.